Hello there. What is going on, everybody? Today, we are doing some more Drop Fleet Commander uh, unboxings, and uh, we're going to take a look at some new ships for the UCM fleet. Uh, and basically, you know, you may have seen me kind of look at a couple of starter fleets already. I've got more starter fleets to look at. I've still got more stuff that TT Combat has sent me to, uh, to take a look at, but I really kind of fell in love with the, yeah, the UCM fleet and uh, I wanted to get a couple more ships, so I went out and actually bought a couple more, and I thought I'd show you guys kind of how some of the expansions will come and how they may look, and we're going to ta uh, take a look at some of these. Uh, if you guys are new here to the channel, be sure to enter to win the $25 Amazon gift card giveaway. You just have to be a subscriber and leave a comment on this or one of my videos. It's as simple as that. So today, we are looking at three different expansions. Uh, this one here is going to be the UCM Monitors. Uh, this is a, uh, like, a, 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 I don't know, I guess a, a, a type of, like, fast ship? I don't know. I, I picked, honestly, I just picked three brand, more, brand new ships uh, that I didn't have already. And here I've got the Rome Battle Cruiser. And I believe this is just a single ship, uh, a single larger ship. And then we happen to get, like, the biggest ship that uh, the UCM has. And this is a whole box just for one single ship. This is the UCM Dreadnought. Um, and uh, I guess it's probably going to be about that big. Uh, and I'll do a size comparison when I am gonna when I put these together. Uh, I'm going to unbox these uh, and take a look. We'll start here with this one. Uh, the other ones are going to be a little harder because they are in that blister. So I'll have to cut those open a little bit more carefully. Uh, and what we'll do is we'll put them together and kind of see how they look. I think, uh, I think some of these are going to have to be kind of washed. Uh, before I can, uh, you know, prime and or paint them or do any of that kind of groovy stuff. Um, all right, so this is, um, how does it go together? It goes together kind of like, uh, how does it come up? I don't, I don't know how to, wait, all right, I've got that there and that there. Am I supposed to, wait, does it slide out? Is it, so it's a mystery box that you can't possibly undo. Um, and I guess I'm going to have to, all right, I guess we're just going to peel it here. And this doesn't seem right. So some boxes are just not intuitive on how you... All right, we're going to get there. We're going to get there. Aha. Uh -huh. All right, there we go. It's the outer shell. I got it. <laughs> I got it. All right. Um, I would have liked to save that. But, uh, oh, man. So we got some interesting stuff in here. We have, instead of just one big sprue, a lot. Of, some of this has been, like, partially uh, undone already. We've got our base right here. I know if some of you have said that you weren't big fans of, of the bases. I mean, they go together nice and easily. The, the stickers go on real, real easy. Um, and uh, and they always give you spare stickers, too. That's another really cool thing is they give you spare stickers in case there is any kind of uh, problem or whatever. Um, man, this is huge. Oh, wow. This is a really, this is a lot. Look at this. It's huge. Huge, huge, huge. Um, there's definitely um, kind of some film, so we're going to have to probably wash these uh, with maybe like a little light toothbrush and some soapy water or something like that and just make sure we get that finish off there before we try to glue and prime uh, these together. But there's a lot of uh, build options for, for, for this kind of ship. And I believe this is a resin kit. Um, and we've got a whole nother bag here. I think this is just, I think you're only getting one ship here. I think this is just all the extra uh, pieces. Uh, of option. Oh my goodness, there's a lot of options for this. This is going to be a really, really big... I feel like there's enough pieces in here. I could make like 12 ships. You know, like this could be like, this should be one. I, 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 um, but all, you know what? The, all the instructions are online, so I don't have to really worry about that that much. But this is a lot of pieces for just one ship. Uh, I'm going to I'm gonna have some fun trying to, uh, trying to figure out how to put this thing together. So this will be a real interesting one. Plus, we've got two more. All right, so next, the Rome Battle Cruiser. Um, I I can kind of pop the the back off pretty easily just by getting uh, something in right there. So that much is pretty cool. We've got uh, our base there as well, and this one it seems entirely more reasonable. Um, we've got our kind of middle piece here, um, some uh, options there, and this one. Should be probably pretty long, about about that size. So that's going to be still a, a much larger uh, ship. Uh, and then we've got lots of different gun options in there. But, uh, I mean, there's, there's just so much detailing on these ships. Um, 
they're gonna be super fun to uh, to get assembled. And again, they are fun to paint also. Uh, so that's one thing I really like about this game so far is just uh, just the hobbying aspect and getting everything put together, choosing what kind of ship you're going to build, and getting them painted. Uh, it's very much fun, very fun, very fun. All right, so next up is the the, uh, the UCM monitors, and there we go. We've got the back open on these, and I believe there's enough for, what, two? Two different ships in here? Or no, maybe it's three. Yeah, I think there's enough for three different, there's three, three bases. Okay. And uh, well, that much is good, and we've got... Uh, See, make sure we got three actual ship pieces, or is it maybe just two ships and um, options for? No, no, there's three. Okay, there's three here, so that's that's pretty cool. So this is uh, and these kind of gotten these kind of got bent a little bit. I don't know if this is a part of like the sprue part that connects to it. If I'm supposed to clip this off, or if this is actually a part of the the ship. So I'll be sure to check in the instructions. Um, but we've got a lot of. Uh, uh, pieces. Actually, these look like they're the, maybe the simplest to uh, to get together. Um, so, so very cool because very few extra pieces for these. So they're going to be a little bit more simple. So that looks pretty cool. So let's start putting these together. All right. So I'm starting off with the uh, UCM monitors. I soaked them in some soapy water, kind of brushed them off a little bit, dried them off, and I'm going to clip off some of the excess here. Um, there's at least as the time of me recording this is not a really great um, utility. I got a little towel here to dry them off. Um, on exactly how to build them out, but it seems kind of self-explanatory. Either this piece goes in or this piece goes on. And so you can build the Istanbul or the Vienna. And uh, I think I'm gonna build uh, like basically two of these and then one of these. Cause this gun's got like a better gun, but this one shoots straight with the burn through. Um, and so, uh, you know, I only need one of these, but I wanna have at least one of each type, right? So, but uh, I think I'll go with two of these uh, uh, version. And so this piece right here uh, is going to come off. Um, this is going to come off. We'll, we'll trim out that a little bit. And I believe these two little pieces uh, are going to go in there because those little wheel wells in there are what are going to kind of hold this gun in because it's going to kind of rest in there on the wheels. So uh, that's what we're going to try to do. I've got my little cutters here and uh, try to clean out some of this. And uh, yeah kind of like that and just kind of get it cleaned up and I use a little exacto to shave off the extra bits and uh, you know it should be good to go all right so I've got the uh, monitors put together uh, I've clipped them all off pretty well um, a lot of the, the engines had extra pieces that needed to come off the backs had that extra piece I tried to sand that down a little bit and that's a pretty nice looking ship um, and of course I built two of these um, these guns could kind of angle up or down or straight. So I did one kind of angled down just a little bit. And then the other one um, angled straight. And uh, this is, there's a lot of detail on those guns too. So really nice looking ship. We've got our underneath view right there. Um, and we'll be getting some paint on those at some point. <laughs> uh, I'm also working on... Uh, the the Rome right now. Uh, I've been kind of uh, preparing this guy, and uh, so he's got his pieces here. And I mean, he seems pretty self-explanatory. The big difference is if you're gonna do the Venice, which is right here, which would have those two pieces in, or the Rome, which I guess goes like this. And um, what I'm thinking of doing is like that's right here. There's a little gap just right there. So I think I'm gonna use some uh, Tamiya putty. Uh, it's kind of like a green stuff, except it's white. And then I'll use that to kind of fill in some of that gap just a little bit um, to see how well that works. Although this top, I might use a little in the top portion too, but I really don't need it very much because this fits really, really well. Um, I might put out just a little bit in there, but uh, we'll see. Because this, uh, this is pretty good quality stuff right here. And uh, here I am putting the dreadnought together. Um, we've got kind of like that piece right there, this piece, which can kind of go on to, there's two of these, and it's gonna basically work like, like, like this, and then this one's gonna go in here. Whoops, wait, backwards, there we go. Like that, and then this piece is gonna go in there, like so. 
kind of like that. It's kind of just the, the quick dry fitting. And, um, and then the wings, there's four of them. And they're going to pretty much all go in like so. And we got little spots for all the turrets and all the weapons. And uh, this one actually pretty fit, fits together uh, fairly well. And we could just choose which, which top we want to have for it. All right, so the uh, Dreadnought is now complete. Uh, I, I let this one dry overnight. It had a lot of pieces to it, uh, an awful lot. Um, I just used all super glue on this one. I didn't actually use any of the uh, white paste. Everything most, fit mostly well together. There's a little gap right in there. I might be able to fill that in after the fact. Um, but, uh, but yes, yeah, so we got some smaller little gaps, but uh, those can easily be filled in. But I, I mean, it, it, it connected and it fit really well. Um, and I went with the London. I think this is the London option one with all of the guns. Like it's got, like this is this is incredible how big this is. Um, this is like as big as a, a Star Destroyer in, in Armada. Um, it's, it's that big. So uh, really, really big. Uh, it's gonna be a fun one. Um, it was a little weird on the, the back engines, though, because they had all the connecting pieces that kind of went in to that. So that much is a little strange. I'm not sure. Maybe, you know, some paint effects will make it just look like that's a blast coming out of there. Um, I'm not sure, sure if I'm supposed to kind of like dig into that. I tried doing it, but then I'm going to cut the sides of the engines if I really dig into there too much. Um, but, uh, but, yeah, this is uh, this is a really, really pretty ship. Um, a whole lot. <laughs> well, I had all the guns kind of pointed to one side, though, so I can, you know, try to, you know, show that whole. <laughs> I'm gonna bring all the guns to bear on you right here. <laughs> like, like this. How many big guns is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just on the top. Uh, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Uh, just like twenty swivel turrets on this thing. Like that's insane. Not to mention, I don't know if this piece down here is a its own gun or if there's any we've got guns on the front too there's 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 the things got guns its guns have guns there are guns on the guns plus all the little mini rocket launchers and stuff like that they're just everywhere so uh super fun one here let's uh let's take a look at uh, it, it goes on the stand kind of um like it, it's heavy enough in the back that it actually balances um pretty well even without even being glued um so like that it, it holds itself up fairly good Let's take a look at all of them uh, and, and see how they compare to the existing UCM starter fleet that I've got. All right, so here we have uh, the UCM monitors uh, next to kind of some of the other smaller ships. Um, and then we've got uh, the cruisers next to the big battle cruiser, the Rome. And so that's definitely a lot larger. Um, but they all sort of pale in comparison to... Oh, oh, can I slide it over? It's, it's balancing on there very delicately. To the Dreadnought, which is kind of bigger than the whole fleet combined, right? Uh, which is going to be really, really fun. It's going to be beautiful to get this thing painted up and uh, and have these all all of these guys flying together. Um, so so very very cool. Uh, again, I, I'm not gluing them to the 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 pegs just yet. I'm just having a balance on here because I want to get them at least base coated before I glue any of that peg stuff in. Um, but yeah, so this has been fun. Um, you know, the uh, uh, TT Combat had sent me out some starters, but I kind of went out and. Picked up some more of these because I wanted to have a bigger fleet for at least one faction. Uh, let me know what you guys think, though. Do you guys, uh, you know, have you guys checked out Bl Drop Fleet Commander at all? Also, if you want to check out Blissfully Ignorant Gaming's blog, well, I'll put a link in the description below. They, uh, If you're interested in learning a little bit more about the Drop Fleet universe, they also have Drop uh, Drop Zone Commander too. They talk about both of the Drop X kind of uh, games over there. Uh, they kind of uh, got me to kind of take a look at this game, too, as well as some urging from... Uh, from my buddy Sean as, uh, as well as a couple of other folks. So, you know, when I hear enough people talking about a game, I sometimes uh, take a little bit of a look. And uh, so this is uh, this one looks fun. Um, but expanding the fleet a little bit. And, uh, you know, sometimes they can be uh, tricky to put them together. But uh, hopefully this was a little bit of help and uh, giving you an idea of some of how the, uh, some of the other ships look. All right, guys, uh, I'm going to let you go. I want to thank you so much for watching. Big thanks to my patrons as well. You guys are amazing and help make this all possible. I will talk to you guys soon. Thank you so much. And as always, have a great day.